What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today is Tuesday, August 4th. What's happening in the markets? S&P up a little over 10, Dow up 157, NASDAQ up 39, Russell up 11. Here's the S&P. Man, I sure hope we are not getting ready to enter another one of those death marches where it just grinds higher and volatility just collapses. Those are, those are probably the least fun markets to trade in. So let's hope that's not happening. However, this looks like the start of a little bit of a grind march. So we'll see what happens. But what did we do today? We took off, uh, took some profits in an iron duck in rut and did some adjustments, did some rolls, and we put on a few overnight earnings trades. So who announced earnings overnight? Let's start with Win. Now, this is the one of the four that we did not put a position on. Let me go to a five-minute chart. That way we can see what's going on after hours. The market just closed about 30 minutes ago. And so here is the shaded areas, the aftermarket, so you can see Win dropped. And now it's starting to bounce back up a little bit. They just announced earnings. So at this point, down a few shekels, nothing too big. The first one that we put a position on is Twilio. So Twilio closed right here, and it's down a good amount here. So the, the expected move on Twilio was 23 bucks, a little over 23 bucks, plus or minus. And so what we did is we entered what we call an iron duck, where we have absolutely no risk to the upside. And when we, we put this on, price started way up here in our risk profile graph. And so we have absolutely no risk to the upside. And as you can see price, and we have this huge buffer to the downside. So you can see price has come down. Let me switch this over to a five minute. So price closed here at about 284. It's down to 265. So about, so not quite the expected move to the downside, but a, but a decent move down. But as you can see, we are just dead smack in the middle of what we call our duck head. This is the duck head. This is the duck beak. And so if we get price to kind of hang out around here, we could potentially hit a duck head for a max profit. Uh, so that's Twilio. We'll see what happens. We'll take that off closer to expiration anyway. We're not going to take it off first thing in the morning tomorrow. But looking good so far. Another stock that posted earnings was... Let's see, we had, uh, oh, Beyond Meat. Beyond the Meat. So Beyond Meat, we did a, a reverse iron duck. So you can see price is hanging out right here. If we look at the chart, this thing's just jumping around. Closed right here, fell, bounced up. Now it's starting to fall again. Beyond Meat had an expected move of about 17 bucks. And it's currently down, let's see, 141, 134. So it's only down about six bucks. So looking like it's going to stay within its expected move. And so in this case, we have risk to the upside, but no matter how low this thing goes, we have absolutely no risk. No risk to the downside. We have this huge buffer. It can go all the way up to 166, and we can still make money. So it can go all the way up. Let me keep yeah, all the way up here, and we can still make money. Now, the sweet spot is for it to land in this area right here. I'm in this area right here, but can't lose money all the way up. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm going to the downside to the downside. Yeah. Yeah. But it can go all the way up to 166. I was right. Okay. So that is beyond meat. And then lastly is our friend Disney. And now Disney, all Wall Street cares about is the streaming service, right? It doesn't care that the theme parks are closed, doesn't care that they're not making movies right now because of COVID. All it cares about is streaming. How many new subscribers to Disney Plus? Well, they I just read before I jumped on here that Disney is got it's got a hundred million active paying subscribers on Disney Plus. That's a big number. And and that's what the market is liking. Now it's starting to come down now, but uh, from where we started, price kind of dipped, bounced higher. Now it's kind of coming down as the market digests this news. But in Disney, we've got a uh, an iron duck as well. So price hanging out right here. So we can come all the way down to 109, all the way down to here and still make a profit. 
and absolutely no risks to the upside. So no matter how high it goes, we have no risk. And their sweet spot is kind of right in this area here. So if we can land there, we'll hit a duck head for max profit. So those are great trades to do, not only during earnings, but you know that's kind of one of our core income strategies as well. So continue to continues to work well. And so that's what we got going on. Don't forget, lastly, uh, my daily PSA for upcoming day trading class. So on Thursday, August 4th, uh, we're uh, starting our series, Day Trading Options for Income. We're going to teach our first strategy. The class is completely free to attend, but you got to be there live. There's not going to be a recording unless you're a pro member. Just go to navigationtrading.com slash daytrading dash registration. And you come to this page, put your name, email in there, save your spot. Again, August 6th at 4 p.m. Central. Make sure you can attend live. It's going to be a I just think, I really think it's going to be a game changer for you. It's something that we've been just taking a lot of profits out of the market with, and it will continue to. It's something that is going to happen regardless if volatility is high, if volatility is low, it doesn't matter. The strategy that we're teaching is called the Mighty 90 strategy. It wins over 70% of the time. We only trade the first 90 minutes, and that's for a couple of reasons. One, I don't know about you, but I lose focus after focusing on anything for 90 minutes, but I can be hyper-focused for that long and really take profits out of the market. Second thing is the, the just the natural market dynamics uh, around the first 90 minutes. You get these big, crazy, what seem crazy, but are yet predictable price moves in the first 90 minutes in the market, which makes it ideal for this strategy. We're able to pick turning points in the market with precise accuracy. This is a pretty simple strategy to execute because there's, there's no spreads, no trade adjustments or anything like that. It's very simple buying of puts and calls. We'll teach you how to trade the strategy in a small account and then the pattern day trader loophole. So regardless of your account size, I can teach you how to, how to be able to trade with unlimited day trades. So looking forward to that, navigationtrading.com slash day trading dash registration. Go there, sign up, save your spot. It's going to be a packed house. So make sure you get in early. And we look forward to sharing this with you. It's been a long time coming and we're super excited about it. So hopefully everybody is there. We'll see you then.